Hey Sagittarius, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to rope. My name is Kianti and I'm going to bring you a love reading for the weekend. Again, this is going to be for the Sagittarius, the sun, moon, and rising in Venus. If you're watching for a Sag, it can resonate from your perspective. I mean, if you're cross-watching, you're watching because you're dealing with a Sag, it may sound like it's from your side of the story versus theirs. Just put yourself where you go, okay? If I get it right for you, Sagittarius, please make sure to give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information will be provided in the description box below. All right, Sagittarius, let's see what you got going on this weekend. Again, guys, these are general messages. So keep what resonates for you, Sag, and please chuck and release what doesn't, okay? Let's see what you got going on this weekend, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on for my beautiful Sagittarius. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> okay. See what you got going on, Sagis. I'm gonna break it all down to you. Just bear with me a moment. There we go. Okay. I saw what that was too. Okay. Ooh. Okay. One more for the Sagittarius. Oh, you gave me two. Fine. 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 All right, the Eight of Pentacles, Sagittarius. This situation could be dealing with work or there's getting ready to be some work and effort being put into something here. Ooh. Ooh, Sag. Okay. So, Sagittarius. Incoming energies for this weekend is the King of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but the King of Cups is a masculine energy. There's something here about love for sure. So, Sag, either you are feeling all loved up or someone is feeling all loved up about you because cups are emotions and there's a king here, right? <laughs> the king, right? That's the incoming energies here. Now, what's funny here, Sagittarius, is the three of wands and the seven of swords. It, either this is the external source or this is your person coming towards you. There's an action with the seven of swords and the three of wands. Someone is moving forward, but they're doing it very, I don't want to say sneaky. I feel like you don't see this coming. Three of Wands is like, ready or not, here I come. And you don't see this. You see how this person is kind of sneaking Three of Wands, but they're coming. So Sagittarius, put yourself where you go. But someone is headed your way. And I don't feel like you see this coming at all because they're not expressing this with the Seven of Wands, with the Seven of Swords here, right? Sagittarius, I have you as the Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But um, Feminine Sag in particular. But... There's an energy of you nurturing your coin, right? Or 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 being and be or being worried about um home finances, bills, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a boss or a business owner in her own right. She nurtures things, she grows things, she's she takes care of herself and her family here, right? Here's you. Mm-hmm. I feel like you just meant mm -hmm, mm -hmm, just meditating on your coin, right? You could definitely be feeling very proud of yourself about things, Sagittarius, about things that you have com accomplished and that you've gained here because there, it, you are coming up as the Queen of Pentacles. Now, the root of the, the matter is a Queen of Wands. This could be definitely a situation dealing with two queens here, right? I have to be honest. Someone could be coming towards you, right? You don't know they're coming. Like the, the Queen of Wands is the root of the matter. There could be a little messy stuff. There could be a third party situation here. Someone could be sneaking away from a Queen of Wands, right? Or the root of the matter could be simply you, Sag, right? The heart of the matter, like, I feel like it's coming up here. It's like that you're kind of chilling, right? You're kind of sitting on your pinnacle. You're chilling. I'm getting that you're very proud of yourself. You are at the heart of this matter, though, with the Queen of Wands here, right? Someone could definitely be wanting to come towards you very badly here. Or someone, I hate to say it because it could be a little messy with the Three of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Someone could be sneaking away from another energy to come towards you and do this. The outcome here, though, Sag, is, is the Ace of Cups in the world. I feel like that's this King of Cups that's offering this Ace of Cups here. With the world, someone could be at a distance. Traveling could be involved. There could be a message coming in online here that you don't see coming. But there's some sort of cycle that has closed out. Someone has learned some sort of huge lessons. And the outcome here is someone is coming with a big old ace, uh, uh, ace of cups here, a big old cup of love. And this could be someone that you work with. Someone that you work with could have a crush on you and you don't see this coming. Someone could be coming in to work on something with you. You have no idea this person is planning this with the two of swords and the eight of pentacles. Mm-hmm. Sad just I'm going to clarify this. Let's see what we get on this. I have two feminine energies here and one masculine. This is very specific because I have people here, right? More than just energy, I have people here, right? 
Mm. Sad, you are at the root of this matter. If, if it's not a third party situation, you are at the heart of this matter. Some of you could definitely have a big old crush on you and they're getting ready to express this and you have no idea. It could definitely be someone that you work with for sure, right? But I definitely feel like there is a king of cups that's coming towards you with a big old cup of love. I feel like this person hasn't expressed this. This definitely hasn't happened. You definitely don't see this coming, Sagittarius, because someone isn't sharing this with the seven of swords. Someone is kind of moving in secrecy and silence towards you. Why is the king of cups? The nine of pentacles. Ooh, the knight of wands and the eight of wands. Sagittarius. Someone is definitely hot and heavy for you or you're hot and heavy for someone. There's some messages getting ready to come in to a single person here, right? For sure, the high priestess. I feel like this has not been expressed, right? You could definitely be dealing with a cancer or a Pisces here. But there's a feminine energy that's using her intuition about a situation. There's a king of cups coming towards her. Yeah, three of cups. Someone definitely wants to reunite here. Let's see why the seven of swords and the three of wands is here. This is your person or external source. This is something that you don't see coming. This is some sort of, of someone is coming towards you for sure with an intention. Or this is an action that you didn't see coming for a pinnacle. See, someone is keeping something to themselves here, but they're coming towards you for swords. Could definitely be dealing with the with the um with the earth sign air sign but i feel like this has been thought about with the four swords this has been thought about someone has thought about something they're keeping it to themselves but they're getting ready to see someone sticks listen four swords the eight of swords someone thought about something someone thought about something seriously i feel like they thought about it long and hard they kept it to themselves but here's that ace of swords is getting ready to be some sort of truth spoken why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Sag? You're coming up as the Queen of Pentacles, which is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy, but I feel like you're kind of proud of yourself. You're kind of proud of yourself and you're kind of sitting on your throne here, the star. Yeah, I feel like you definitely have someone's attention. There's some sort of dream come true. Like some of you could have a couple of options to make your dreams come true, right? But look, there's that emperor. That's, that's what I'm telling you. Someone could have had a couple of other choices or someone has been kind of negotiating and trying to decide what they want to do. But with the star, I feel like there's a dream come true coming towards you. There's a masculine energy that could have definitely been holding back. I don't feel like this person is getting ready to hold back anymore. You could definitely be dealing with someone who is extremely stubborn here, right? Aries or Taurus. But they made some sort of decision to communicate and they're coming your way here. I see it. Why is the queen of wands in the root of this? This could definitely be used. Like someone could definitely have you stuck on the brain and they haven't said anything or haven't made some sort of move yet, but they will. There could definitely be a third party situation and someone could have been holding somebody up and keeping somebody back, but they're not going to allow that to happen anymore. Why is the queen of wands here? The seven of pentacles, the ten of wands. Like I said, someone could have been holding on to this. It's been a burden. They've been waiting to come towards you because you are at the root of the matter here. This could have been someone that you waited on and it didn't happen and you let this go, Sagittarius. Someone could have definitely been held up by, some, by, by having to get out of a situation with someone else. There's the queen of cups here. See? The hermit. Yeah, some, I feel like with the queen of cups and the hermit, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Virgo. But someone has been... Keeping their, keep hiding, I don't want to say hiding, but they've been keeping something to themselves. They've been holding their love back. This could definitely be someone that you work with. Why is Ace of Cups in the world here for the outcome? Someone is getting ready to express. I don't know if there's a message coming in on the internet or someone is at a distance or, di or traveling and distance is a factor. But someone is coming in with this Ace of Cups here in the world for sure there could definitely be a huge cycle that has closed out someone has learned a lot of lessons here but they're getting ready to be a whole new beginning there's a couple of seven of swords you have no idea this is coming someone is strategically planning this the queen of pentacles it could be a taurus virgo capricorn involved but that's your energy someone is strategically planning to come towards you they have not expressed this yet they have been holding this back see look here's the queen of pentacles which is showing up as you Here's the king of swords, that masculine energy. I feel like this masculine energy is getting ready to say something. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini, or a Virgo. But there's been a masculine energy that's been keeping something back, holding something to themselves. For some of you, this is definitely someone that you work with, so they haven't said anything yet. Or someone is, or you could definitely be dealing with a Taurus or a Virgo. But I do feel like a masculine energy is getting ready to say something here. I feel like he hasn't said anything yet. You don't see this coming. Someone is definitely getting ready to offer love here to someone, Sagittarius. I'm going to get out of here because my baby is starting to make sounds. I love you guys. If I, if I resonate with you, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're interested in booking me, please email me. You guys have a great weekend. Take care of yourselves and stay safe. It looks like you're in good spirits and you're, you got lots of options and you got... You, 
and you're getting what you're hope for here, Sagittarius. So let me know if I got this shit right. Y'all take care of yourselves. I'll bring y'all messages very soon. Bye, Saggies.